Hello everybody, welcome to another one of my investing videos and in this video I'm going to talk about how much money did I make last year trading options for the year of 2018 and I did something I should have did in my last video. I put all of my performance into Excel. I exported it into Excel and out of Ameritrade because the last time I did this video I accidentally not paying attention my number was showing up and so I've been on the sidelines all this time I haven't made one single option trade because I have been trying to get a new account going on my Ameritrade and I'm still waiting and so I'm still on the sidelines and uh, as soon as I get that all straightened out then I'll be back in the game trading options again uh, so anyways this is my return for 2018 and if I go down you can see I did quite a lot of trading all the way down to here and there I, I guess I did 114 trades and right here is the money that I made this column right there is the gain and that number right there I made three thousand nine hundred and twenty four dollars and sixteen cents ST gain ST stands for short term this stands for long term right so you can see I'm not a long-term investor. I don't buy and hold like most people. I get in, I make my money, I get out. And I made $3,924, almost $4,000. And if we go to my Ameritrade, you can see I have $33,522. And just a few weeks ago, I put in my contribution for my Roth IRA, which was $6,500. And I found out they raised the max to 7000 So I am going to put another $500 in there. So if we were to subtract that 6500 and then subtract the 3924 or whatever, if you put it on the calculator and we go to my returns here, I made a 16.9% return on my money. Now, to be fair, all of these, all of this trading I did cost money, commissions, right? And so since I did 114, then TD Ameritrade charges $6.95 plus the, I think, $0.70 cents per contract. So let's just say $7 per trade. So 7 so I, seven times, what, 114 is like $750, what, $7.60. And I could probably cut that in half because many of my trades was me buying to close. Like all of these, like a dollar, a dollar, like you can see buy to close for a dollar, buy to close for a dollar. This one just expired. Buy to close, buy to close, buy to close. Those are all free commissions. So I could probably take off at least a third of that. So maybe I spent like $400 in commission. So if I were to subtract the $400 off of this, then I, I made about $3,500. So maybe I made about a 14% return on my money, which I feel pretty good about so uh, if we go to the beginning here and this is all in alphabetical order okay it's not in order of when I did it but I can tell you at the beginning of the year I was doing Bank of America and I was doing option caller and I made money on that not very much but I made a couple hundred dollars this Apple was a earnings play I bought a call I bought a put and then I sold the close for like a $50 profit and but that was a day trade and uh, it even counted as a round trip. And then Netflix, I did a calendar call spread and I bought a 380 call, so the 405 call. Netflix went all the way up to 416 when I closed it out and I only made like $200 and that was a head scratcher for me. I know it has something to do with the option Greeks and so I decided I'm not going to trade Netflix anymore until I uh, learn more about how option Greeks work. Delta, Gamma, Vega, all that kind of stuff. That's stuff that all the pros know, and I don't know that stuff quite as well. This here is Nugget. Nugget is an ETF on the gold mining stocks. You can see I, at one time, owned 800 shares of this. I love this stock, and I do a covered call strategy on this. I tried to do an option caller on this, and, I, and that was one of my losses for the year. It was a little loss, but it was a loss. And I also tried to do a calendar spread, and I lost about $50 on a calendar spread. didn't work out for me. Nugget is just too darn volatile. It's a 3x leverage fund, 
but the cover call strategy works real well with Nugget because it's so volatile. You get really high premium on the call options that you sell to open. So you can buy Nugget right now. My memory tells me Nugget is probably trading around $15 to $16 a share. And I can tell you, you can sell in the money cover calls, $13, $14 strike prices about a month or two out. And you can make an easy 2 to 3% monthly return. So it's great stock if you do your homework your technical analysis sell the calls at the support don't try to go for the home runs and sell the out of the money sell the nice safe in the monies i've done videos on how these in the money cover calls work it's a great strategy i made several hundred dollars on that but i did lose money doing the option caller and i did lose money trying to calendar spread so i'm not afraid to try new stuff right and uh now next up is the spy and the spy i did a spy a uh, strangle. I bought two calls, bought two puts, and then about two or three weeks later, I got out. I made money on that trade, made about $150, but the day before, I was down $1,100. I thought I was going to get an ulcer, and when the, the market came right back up, and I was up $150, I said, forget this. I'm getting out of Dodge, and I haven't done the SPY since. I just don't have the stomach for that kind of trading. Uh, but I think the SPY, if you're good, is a great way to make money. And I, I call it a high roller stock. So it's, it's what the big boys play with. I'm a little boy. So anyways, and then Twitter. Okay. Now Twitter, I did, th this is like my cash cows, my bread and butter. And if I just start going down like this, you can see that I did a lot of Twitter. I love Twitter. I know this stock better than any other stock in the entire Dow Jones or S&P or whatever NASDAQ it's on. I did a whole bunch. So from 114 to 46. So that's what, 70, 68 trades I did on Twitter. And I did different stuff. I did an option caller in the beginning of the year, and I made a bank load of money doing that. I made like, I don't know, man. I, I probably made a couple thousand dollars on that. But then later in the year, I did another option caller, and I bought the shares, I bought the put, I sold the calls, but then I sold to open puts against my puts, and that was a mistake. And at the time, Twitter dropped. It went all the way down to $26, and I took a $1,200 loss on that, right? But overall, I still made money on the Twitter option call. I think option caller is a great strategy, especially if you're new to investing, or I should say trading options. Uh, but the thing that really has been my cash cow are these calendar calls and calendar put spreads. I got lots of videos on that. I made a lot of money on Twitter, and I would say the vast majority of my money came from Twitter, the calendar calls and the calendar puts. So make a long story short, uh, when the smoke clears, I made $3,924. I took a little losses, but I made big money. When I'm right, I, I make bank. When I'm wrong, I lose a little bit. My biggest mistake was that convoluted option caller on Twitter when I sold the open puts on the puts, which you're not supposed to do. If you're doing an option caller, you buy the stock, you buy the put, you sell the call. Call pays for the put and you don't sell the open put. You can if you want, but just keep in mind you're taking a risk because the stock tanks and you're going to lose money on your short put. So keep that in mind. So my favorite strategies to make money as an option trader, if you want to do options, uh, I love the option caller. I like selling covered calls in the money on volatile stocks. That's the one time that I like to sell calls. I don't like selling out of the money calls very much, but I, I love Nugget. And uh, I thought about trying it on some other stocks. I have enough money if I wanted to. I could probably get into Tesla or Netflix, but those are too diddly darn volatile for me. And uh, probably my favorite strategy are the diagonal spreads on the uh, Twitter, uh, where I buy long-term calls or long-term puts, and I sell to open weekly calls and weekly puts. And, and the, the money that you can make on the theta is outstanding. And uh, so those are my favorite strategies. I would suggest take some time to learn how to trade options. It's a great way to make money. And, uh, you know, the, the market, the S&P, and we can even go take a look-see at that. I'll go to my stock chart here. And if I uh, put in the SPY, which is the ETF on the S&P, I go to the charts. And then I put in for a year, one year like that. Okay, the S&P, let's see, uh, where is it at? There's a way to look. 
to do this. I, it's been so long since I've made a video and it's been so long since I've done any trading. But I can just tell you that the market ended down 6% for the year. The, the uh, Dow Jones ended down 5% for the year and the NASDAQ ended down 1% for the year. And this is the one year chart for the S&P. So that would have been, uh, what, January 29th. Let's move it over a little bit. Let's go ahead and get try to get exact. So there there we go. Let's bring up my drawing tool. So right there. And then it ended. Let's go to December. Let's put this back like that and move it back over. And look, what is that price? Uh, that price would be 286 And then let's move it to January the 2nd or whatever clear all this nonsense out put on my drawing and let's find January the 2nd here bring up my drawing tool like this and there we go right there 262 so yep that's about six percent drop in the S&P and if I went to the the Dow uh, this one right here would be the Dow uh, the Dow was down five percent you'd see a similar result and if I went to the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ was down 1%. So I feel pretty darn good that I was able to beat the market by that much trading options. And I think the key is I'm not a long-term investor. This is all ST, short-term games. If I was a long-term guy, then I'd probably be in the red like everybody else. But I'm not. I've, I've just learned that that's not the way to go, at least in this kind of market. It might be different a few years ago when the market was going up like gangbusters, but now I, I think the best way to go, given the volatility of the market, get in, make your money, take your profit, get out, and do it again. Repeat, just like that. And I think you can do well. Options are not that hard to learn. There is a learning curve. Take you a few weeks, but once you learn it, you're off and rolling. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave in the feedback section, comment section. And until then, uh, have a good day, and I will see you in the next video.